I want you guys to guess the top speed of this beautiful 39 Invincible Open with Quad V8 Mercury Marine Verado outboards. And actually, if you're good enough, try to get the cruising speed and miles per gallon. All right, guys, I think that turned out pretty good. We can go ahead and work our way back into the bay so we can start the walkthrough. Welcome aboard this beautiful 39 Invincible Boats Open, this one paired with Quad Mercury Marine V8 300 Verado Outboards. So the 39 Invincible Open has a length overall of 39 feet, two inches, weighs 16,700 pounds, holds 550 gallons of fuel, has a 24.5 degree dead rise, and has a max horsepower of 1,800. This Invincible 39 Open is paired with Quad Mercury Marine V8 300 Verado outboards capable of speeds over 70 miles per hour. It'll cruise comfortably at 47.5 miles per hour, burning 0.93 miles per gallon. So here's an angle I don't think we've actually shown off before. It shows the bow flare of the 39 Invincible Open. And we're gonna get some footage offshore so you can see how this thing works. But there's a happy medium these boat builders have to figure out to give this thing enough flare to deflect that water up and out, but not impede too much on your interior space up here. Let's go ahead and start off here in the cockpit area. We have an 11 foot beam so you can see all the space you have here to fish. They have a nice design putting the 75 gallon transom live well here right down the middle, making it comfortable to get down and dirty here to fish up both port and starboard. They have a really nice feature here. Obviously when you're fishing, you got this thing completely out of the way, but when you're making a long run, you got a great pop pop-up seat right here, which is the most comfortable seat in the house most likely when you're gonna do that then put it away and it's like it's not even there. You got fish boxes, both port and starboard. These are insulated and macerated, so they're gonna hold ice for you. This is most of the time where I end up throwing my fish. Also gas shock to make it easy to open close. And you got a nice finish underneath all of these boxes. We got a diamond non-skid as you can see, piano hinge which tucks out of the way and gives it a really nice finish. You can also add a 77 gallon live well here in deck if you don't go with the Sea Keeper. This one in particular has a Sea Keeper 3 in it. And then lastly, I'm gonna pop open the bilge right here, show you what you got going. We have a three pump sea chest, easy access to all your manifold system, fuel water separator. You have Gemlux valve systems throughout everything and you can fit two people in here with absolutely no problem to get your work done. So now we have the rear facing mezzanine seat for three people, again, another comfortable seat. Pop this open and you have a refrigerated cooler right here with a coil system. So you really don't even need ice. And then right behind this backrest, you pop this open and it hides full tackle station. You got drawers, storage for your Plano boxes, more drawers. Close this up and the best part is it's magnetized so this tucks in place and it's like it's not even there. Now I wanna show you this whole side door. It's a two piece and I always like to see how every manufacturer does it. This 
comes up and over, and then this just opens outward and has a pin to be able to lock into the hole. Then what's really nice is that the ladder is tucked away right here. You can deploy it with no problem. It's completely hidden and you don't have to worry about finding a place to store it in another one of your boxes. Tucked underneath the cap, you're gonna see you have fresh and raw water washdowns. You got JL audio speakers throughout the entire boat. And then under the leaning post, they added additional tackle storage, both port and starboard. So the first thing you're gonna notice are the three helm chairs right here, which are adjustable both on this seat and you can pull them forward and backward. On top of that, you have an adjustable armrest, which makes it really comfortable depending on how you like to run the boat. Up here, you're gonna see two Garmin 22 inch MFDs, a nice full enclosure. They use D piping on the aluminum and have a beautiful white powder coating on this one in particular. You have your Fusion head unit, your Garmin autopilot, your head unit for your Seakeeper 3 bow thruster. You have your push button start stop, your throttles, your Optimus 360 right here, your windlass control, VHF on both sides, and your Boca Tech switches down the middle. Now, I always like to check out how different manufacturers do their console doors, and this is a real simple acrylic one, but it's cool how they actually fold this up and clip that in place so it's not going anywhere, and it gives you excellent access into your head right here. You have storage going up towards the bow, obviously the head, sink, and then access to all your rigging right here. Walking up the starboard side, I absolutely love this vertical rod storage right here. They actually put like a 15 degree angle so it doesn't even hold water and that kind of slides off, or at least I assume that's what that's for. And they create openings in the hard top for your longer fishing poles. We continue our way up and look at the size of this lounger. It's absolutely massive. You can fit two people comfortably. You got armrest if you like that, but then once I pop this thing open right here, it unveils an absolutely huge coffin box with dividers so you can put ice in the back, put food here, drinks up here, and even has a starboard separator for anything you'd like to keep dry on top of this. As we work our way forward, we have more storage as you can see here, both port and starboard, kind of like a dry box. They have fenders in there right now, and they utilized all this space underneath the cap to added more storage, dock lines, fenders, even your flip-flops can go in there with no problem. So it's kind of utilizing every square inch of this boat to its maximum potential. More JL Audio speakers throughout. And what I noticed they have another raw water and another fresh water wash down up here, which is incredibly nice. Sometimes running that hose all the way to the bow is tough, especially on a 39 footer. And then we have our forward fish box. Really good size, again, insulated, macerated. This one actually has your access for a bow thruster, which is an option, and this boat currently has. Continue forward. We have our anchor secondary access, and this one has a windlass. So once we pop this thing open, you can see this just makes your life a whole heck of a lot easier. Lastly, let's take a look up above the hard top. We have a huge rigid light bar up here. You have your Garmin Open Array XHD2 radar. You have your Grand Slam Gemlux outriggers. You got your digital antennas up there as well and your anchor light. So a nice big hard top here to be able to display everything comfortably and they do a real clean job of everything here at Invincible. <laughs> So that concludes our up close and personal look at this Invincible Boats 39 Open. This one in particular, again, is a 2022 with about 100 hours and at the time of this shoot is available for sale. So reach out to us, drop a comment if you're interested in more information and we'll connect you to the guys at Invincible directly. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment, share, tag your friends up. We appreciate all of it. My name is Alan Blanco at Center Consoles Only. And we'll see you again soon.